Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to positive and negative look ahead. Uh, look aheads are patterns that tell JavaScript to look ahead if your string uh, ahead in your string to check for patterns further along. This can be useful when you want to search for multiple parameters over the same string. There are two kinds of look aheads: positive look ahead and negative look ahead. A positive look ahead will look to make sure the element in the search pattern is there, but won't actually match it. The positive look ahead is used as a question mark with an equal sign, whereas the dot 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 is the required part that is not matched. On the other hand, a negative look ahead will look to make sure the elements in the search pattern is not there. A negative look ahead is used question mark with an exclamation point, where the dot 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 is the pattern that you do not want to be there. The rest of the pattern is returned if the negative look ahead part is not present. Lookaheads are a bit confusing, but some examples will help. So here we have, uh, we're creating a variable called quit, which is equal to the string of QU, and then no quit is uh, another variable where it's equal to a string of QT, and then Q regex is equal to this one with a, with a negative lookahead of U, and then this Q regex is, uh, uh, oh, this one's a positive lookahead with a U, so we would expect this one to return Q here, whereas this one would return Q on the, uh, on the one without the U. So it's a little confusing the way that they've done this, but the, uh, the Q regex is saying, um, when, when you put it on the no quit one, because the T is not a U, it returns the P. Whereas this one, because it is a U, it returns the Q. So a more practical use of lookaheads is to check two or more patterns in one string. Here is a naively simple password checker that looks for between three and six characters and at least one number. So here we've got a positive look ahead of all digits between the three to sixth, or, because this is kind of another way of doing it, um, a negative, a positive look ahead of all, of anything other than the digits and then the digits. So we check pass dot test password. So our check pass, which is our regex, and then we're, and we throw in this guy, and this returns true. Why does it return true? Okay, so it returns true because the um, it's doing a positive look ahead, asking if the length of the string is between three and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's on between six. So this validates true, but then it also has to validate that this is true, and this means that. And somewhere in the string, there is a uh, non-digit number that is followed by a digit. And so because this C1 is here, that means that this would return true. Now, if there was a digit at the front of the string, this would return false. And so yeah, let's start with console.logging out the result, just so we can uh, run some tests here. Um, result. So right now we're, um, we're rendering out astronaut as false, and astronaut should match. And what we're looking to do is use look ahead in the PW regex to match passwords that are greater than five characters long. And do not begin with numbers. Okay, so the first thing we could do is do a positive look ahead to see if it um, begins with a number. And so we could do if it does not begin with a number. Okay, so now astronaut would render true because it doesn't begin with a number. Um, one, two, three, if we were to throw this up here, then we're rendering it out here. This is false because it begins with a number. This guy, let's make sure that this passes as well. False because it begins with a number. So if we were to run our tests now, we'd have a lot of passing tests. Um, but some of these are going to be false uh, positives. Um, we should have two positive look-aheads. So we know that we're going to need something like this in here anyways. So that might actually pass this test, yeah. Um, so now we've got two look-aheads. But the problem is that we're not matching um, elements that have one, two, three, four, five, six. That one should match for that. We're matching elements that have, uh, n have digits, have no digits. Um, and they should have two consecutive digits. So we could have our positive look ahead be like, um, well, we want the first 
We first want there to be a digit. We don't put parentheses in there. Um, let's get one in here, like astronaut. We want this to be false, and it's probably true. And then we want afterward to have a digit. And we want two to be there. So now this one's false. So what we're doing is we're saying is we want to find a situation in each of these strings in which there's a non-digit, and then it's followed by a, a pair of digits. And so we run the test. And now we're not working. So what's going on here? So, oh, okay, so what we don't, we're, what we want is for the um, non-digit character to be equal to zero or multiple. Um, in the previous example, we had the non-digit character was a way for us to differentiate that because this one only asks us to have the non-digit at the beginning of the string. We're able to do um, as many uh, non-digit characters, which is this capital D, as um, in between zero and, and, uh, and one. And so that fulfills the desire of having uh, and then, and, then it should, and then we have to have two consecutive digits after that. And so it looks ahead for either zero or one uh, non-digit zeros. And this wouldn't work because... But this, be, we don't have to worry about starting at the beginning because we've already checked to make sure that the first element of the string is not a digit. And so yeah, run the tests and that passes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.